40 competing teams arrived at Central Park to a warm greeting from Mayor Tom Lazio and the Ottumwa Bulldogs marching band. The run started this past Saturday in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Competitor Allison Lucic says this is her first time competing. We've gone through all these amazing little towns that, you know, we never would have been able to experience if we didn't do this. Before heading to Central Park Wednesday, each team had to complete a mission that led them to historical sites around the area. Many of them were directed to the Wapolo County Historical Museum and the American Gothic House. When they got back, they had about half an hour to unwind and enjoy some food before going to their next mission. We had a very hectic start this morning. So right now, coming into a beautiful hometown like this is a nice respite. So before we get that envelope in another 25 minutes, I'm just going to relax and enjoy your beauty here. This fireball run is about so much more than just trying to find missions and look at historical sites around different cities here in Iowa. What these competitors are doing is handing out flyers to inform people about missing children, either in each competitor's home state or even missing children that can be possibly found along the route that they're taking this week. We're going to be distributing about 45,000 flyers of missing kids over the course of eight days. One in six kids is found because somebody sees a picture. Griesmer says so far they've already received tips from people seeing the flyers and social media posts. Over the years, solely from the fireball run, the Child Rescue Network has found 51 kids.